Uh, the mining industry is uh, presently in an interesting uh, space. Uh, the industry is being supported quite strongly by a higher commodity prices that are reflecting in the uh, profits many mining companies are uh, reporting. But the question is, is Africa exploiting the uh, boom times of the mining sector presently and how uh, best can it take advantage of the uh, current commodities upsurge? I'm uh, having this conversation with Tawanda Mandondo. He's a banker in the Resources and Energy Division at APSA Group. Uh, Tawanda, thanks so much for your time. Just your reflections on where uh, mining presently stands and whether Africa is doing enough to uh, benefit from the boom times as uh, it should be? So, so I think it's both yes and no, right? So I think in the current context of things, I mean, it's loud at the moment. You can hear a lot of uh, companies out there talking about new projects, <clears throat> spending more money on explore, exploration. Um, everyone's looking for new assets, um, you know. And what's really interesting is when you look at it, when, when we entered into COVID, you know, I mean, it was quite gloomy. Like, we all thought, yes, it's like, um, you know, we just have to survive. Um, and, you know, halfway into COVID, we're seeing record commodity prices amongst lots of commodities. Um, we're seeing uh, shareholder returns with exceptional dividends, which, you know, in, I've been in mining for the greater part of uh, over 10 years. And, you know, some of the numbers... I never thought were possible and you know these have been coming through now what was really interesting for me is you know what has been the impact really into our communities and societies so I mean when I speak to some of the captains um, in some of these corporations there, there is quite a lot of focus around the S in ESG um, you know you know like I mean it's every other day I'm fielding calls for, from these guys saying how can we participate? How can we help them to actually help um, people in the local communities? So, so that, that's actually been, you know, really, um, I think, a key takeaway for, for, for me over the last um, year and a half. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but in your view, uh, do you think that there are areas where uh, the continent and even South Africa is sleeping on this uh, opportune environment that the mining sector is in, as you did mention, the record uh, commodity prices that we've seen. I mean, are we extracting the most from these times as we can? I think yes and no again, right? So what's been unfortunate, I think, is, you know, we find ourselves still talking about policy certainty within the greater African context. Um, and, you know, this is a time whereby you need the certainty um, because at least the corporates do have the money and there are investors willing to invest, whether it be in battery minerals or, or whatever it is that they're looking for. Um, but they just need certainty in order to deploy that capital, whether it be in exploration um, and, and taking their projects uh, forward. So we've pretty much been caught in a perfect storm in, in terms of um, I wish we, we had done more and were in a position to effectively say there is no policy uncertainty anymore. Sure. Yeah. As a banker, though, where are you seeing the most interest from your clients uh, presently? Is it in the area of uh, exploration? Is it in the area of um, mergers, acquisitions? Where are you seeing the dominant activity? So, I mean, w what we're seeing is I think everybody's looking for growth, right? Um, and I think, you know, you really to have the capital um, in this uh, current commodity price environment to acquire or move your projects forward from a BFS um, and build a new mine. Um, so we, we're seeing both of, of that. Like, I mean, the companies who have had projects um, for quite some time, taking them up the value chain, um, and now we're seeing them coming to market and saying, okay, um, you know, what can we as a bank do, um, whether it be helping them um, on the equity side, um, but also on the debt side in terms of moving their projects forward. Yeah. But just to your point on a policy certainty, 
in your view, uh, which areas of policy, if improved, would encourage greater activity from uh, some of the clients there at APSA in terms of uh, their participation in the current boom times in the mining space? So I think it's, 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 um, it's really around the framework in terms of, you know, what is the, um, you know, the fiscal um, uh, legislative uh, parameters in terms of whether it be royalties, whether it be, you know, from a, um, you know, from, from, from a mining perspective in terms of tenure of, uh, tenure of leases, um, you know, like I think what people are looking for is perhaps transparency, you know, that, you know, I should be able to say, okay, but based on these set of facts, um, I should be able to get Y out. Tawanda, thanks so much for your time. We'll leave it there. Uh, Tawanda Mandonda, who is the, uh, a banker within the Resources and Energy uh, Division at APSAP.